Footage of a south side convenience store clerk turning the tables on a pair of robbers. And he's not just a crime fighter, he's a semi pro mixed martial arts fighter. Amy Davis has the story only on two, and she's live off of South Wayside near I 45 with this video tonight. Amy? Well, that's right, you guys. Myra Dasanayaka works here selling sodas, snacks, and gas. But then five days a week, when he leaves here, he goes to train in mixed martial arts. And earlier this month, all that training came in handy. Myra Dasanayaka was behind the counter when he noticed his co worker return to the store after a run to the bank. The men in this SUV were watching, too, because they went straight for the man in the bank bag as soon as he got out of his car. Just the reaction, just you see someone get beat up, you just go out. Myra ran outside, and before the alleged robbers even saw him. The first guy I saw, I just kicked him in the face, then I punched the other guy. Watch it again. Myra's co worker is on the ground taking a beating when Myra's first kick catches one of the accused crooks in the face. Myra! Moves Myra learned in cage matches. He's trained in mixed martial arts for more than a decade and was named the MMA national champion for five consecutive years in his native country of Sri Lanka. We learn like how to punch, how to kick, and like, you know, how to move. So, all that stuff you can use in the streets. Or in this case, the parking lot. In seconds, the bad guys begin their retreat, the getaway car getting further away. They were waiting for them, but when they were running back, I caught one guy with a hook, so he fell down. So they just left him. Take a look. One of the alleged robbers wants to go back for his accomplice and friend, but decides against it when Myra moves towards him. In the end, they left the guy, and just as he does in the ring, Myra put him in submission while he waited for police. Just kicked him till he lays down in the floor until he stopped moving. Cause I wasn't sure if he had like a knife or gun, so I wanted him to stop moving. Police arrested the man identified as 33-year-old Odell Mathis. His partner and the driver got away, but customers of the fuel depot still call this a feel-good story. A feel-good story, unless you're this guy.